many people know the virus aren't alive? It's been known in the medical profession for years that you don't give antibiotics for a virus because they're ineffectual because they're not alive. They have no nucleus. They are protein parts. There's no respiration. There's no functionality. There's no glandular activity. They are not alive. But what are they? They are soaps. They are solvents. The body makes them to dissolve tissue in your body that are too toxic for the parasites, the bacteria, and the fungus to eat. Too toxic. Like when I had chemo, radiation. Parasite, bacteria, fungus tried to eat into that dead tissue. They were killed because they were poisoned to death from that tissue. So it's all this contagious bullcrap about virus. That's like saying laundry soap is contagious. Well, it's in every home, and everybody uses it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Most housewives and people do their laundry. So it must be contagious because it's always happening about the same time. That's when colds and flus happen. They happen seasonally for a reason. There are 300,000 varieties of virus. Each one of them takes just a little particle of a cell at a time and disassembles it. And the pharmaceutical industry says, see, it dissolves a cell. No, it's dissolving a specific tissue in that cell, so specific that it can never damage the integrity of that cell unless you have many viruses happening at one time because of a highly toxic polluted cell from industrial pollution. And it's usually from the medical profession that that happens. But usually one, two viruses are occurring all at one time, only once in a lot of people. So, you know, one person gets, you know, the flu, then the next person gets the flu and Joe Blow across town's got it, and all of a sudden, all these people start cropping up, and they say it's contagious. That's like saying the first crow, the rooster that starts crowing toward the sun is contagious to all the other roosters because they get up and crow too, you know. Virus are not contagious. AIDS is not contagious. It's a man-made virus. It's the lymphonomic virus of a sheep, and it's the leukemic virus of a bovine spliced together, man-made, injected into our population by our dear, great military government as biochemical warfare experimentation. And do you know who there were undesirables were they allowed to do that on? NSA says they're allowed to do it on undesirables. And you know who the undesirables were? Homosexuals. So homosexuals in New York, Houston, Los Angeles, and San Francisco were the target. How did they target them? Well, if you remember in the 70s, all through the 80s, the main people getting hepatitis were homosexuals because of their intense drug use. So they were, they were given it in the hepatitis B vaccine, and they were strategically put in those cities. 10% of the people were not homosexual. That's why 10% of the population was not homosexual who got it in those cities. But it only happened in those cities. And then when the government got caught, it started putting them out in other cities, so they got it all over. And then they put it in the smallpox vaccine, in Africa. Why would British government and the American government donate 125 million smallpox vaccine? Why would they give 125 million vaccines? You're talking billions of dollars to make them, transport them, get them over there and service them. 125 million vaccines were given and funded by the British government and the American government. 
Why do you think they did that? What happened? It made a medical catastrophe in all of those countries. So where did they go for medical help? They went to the British and American governments who were supposed to be advanced medically. So they got treatment. And guess how many countries are now under the World Bank because they couldn't pay their debt for the medical help? 27 African countries are now run by the British and American government through the World Bank because they poisoned these Africans with AIDS in the smallpox vaccine. Nobody got AIDS there except people who got the smallpox vaccine unless they were getting transfusions from somebody who had the smallpox vaccine. So you can get it, transmit it in blood, but you can't transmit it sexually, you can't transmit it any other way because it has to be injected into your body. You bleed outward, so you can't get it. Even if you have anal sex and you bleed, you bleed outwardly. You don't bleed inwardly. And if you have, uh, Dr. Strucker showed that there are only two viruses per ejaculation, five white blood cells destroy too easily like that, they'll never get in. And like I said, they're not, they can't procreate. They don't reproduce because they're not alive. Virus are not alive. They are made by cells to clean the body. It is a solvent, a soap, 